in here. Now stop this yeah. nonsense. Oh. Oh. Stop this nonsense before I stomp your liver to death. Now get back to reading your Bible. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now you still think we pageant you girls are a bunch of goody two shoes? Yeah. Not anymore. Good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, now tell us what you mean by the Bible being the book of life. Well, the Bible is the book of life because every question, every answer, every topic, every issue, everything we see today is in there somewhere, regardless of the advancement of technology or how far we go into the future or one's culture. It's in there somewhere. Now tell me plainly, in a sentence, how can you show me that God is real? God is real because the Bible is between 27% and 33% prophecy. And this goes all the way back to 1900 years ago. The Bible is so articulate, it tells us what's going to happen before it happens that far ago. So if everything and every time is in the Bible, why aren't pageants in the Bible? Mm -hmm. uh, pageants are in the Bible. There was a recorded pageant in the Bible in the book of Esther. This pageant here, girls, was so big, it was equivalent to Miss Universe times 10. Wait, wait. They had to be purified a whole year before they could even do their talent. And they got to wear the crown for a whole lifetime. That'd be so nice. What about airplanes? Oh, is that in the Bible? Yes, airplanes are in the Bible. Everything we see today is in there somewhere. Isaiah. Chapter 31, verse 5, and in Revelation chapter 12, verse 4, it talks about what we call airplanes today. What about other life on other planets? Where is that in the Bible? The Bible addresses that issue too, life on other planets. You hear the question, there's a zillion planets out there, are we the only ones alive? Are we the only ones that have life? The Bible answers that issue. It says it clearly in Isaiah chapter 45, verse 18, and jump down to verse 21 and 22. The Bible makes it crystal clear that there is no life anyplace else except for here on planet Earth. Now, if there is some money out there, then they came from the Earth, like the moon. I once heard that the Bible said the Earth was flat. Where is that in the Bible? Well, everything, every topic, every issue is in there somewhere. Man said that the earth was flat. The, all they had to do was go to Isaiah chapter 40, verse 22, where the Bible says that the earth is round. It says the circle of the earth. What about bombs and thermonuclear warheads, mm -hmm. etc.? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's in the Bible also. What we call nukes today, there's an unmistakable description of thermonuclear activity in Zechariah chapter 14, verse 12, it talks about thermonuclear activity, what we call radiation. He'll never get this one. So one more thing. Okay, I'm listening. What about Israel, huh? What about her? If Jerusalem is the center of the earth? Yes, that is a very, very, no, that's a good question. Really, it's honeycombed toward all the Bible. The Bible says that Israel will be surrounded by her enemies, which she is. Let me show you something. It also says that Israel would get help from afar. A lot of people think they're talking about America. Let me show you something. Now, in Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 10, and again in Isaiah chapter 46, verse 27, it says that Israel would get help from afar. And if you write out the word Jerusalem, look at that. The center most three letters are the U-S-A. And that is right there. You can call that a coincidence if you want to, but we are in there. Is cloning in the Bible? Yes, cloning is in the Bible. That is something that's going to take place later and get rampant. Uh, cloning is in Revelation chapter 18, verse 13. Those last four words talk about what we call cloning today. 
took Michelle Obama oh, in a draw, yeah. and I will definitely beat you now. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, right. You know what? So did I. Mm -hmm. You know what? Let's go. You know we. You know what? Are you serious? Mm hmm. No, we can do this. Girls. No, don't make me come. No, I'm I'm like, I'm 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 Here we you go, got this, ladies. Girl. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on, Kate. Oh, you're a cheater! You are such a cheater! My children just did cheat. No, no, no. Besides, you started before the clock started. Okay, okay, let's do it again. Girls, come on. Come on. Fair. Go. No, I'm cheating this time. It's a good thing I didn't wash my hands. Let's go. Do this. Ready? Go. Caitlin. Oh. Oh! 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 Excuses. Okay, you know what? You know, you I need to go get my hair braided, so. You know what? Oh, uh, you know, I got a tie. Let's tie your hands together. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's, let's see if go. you can manage to mess that up. Come on, let's go. Come on. Hmm. You know what? I was going to take it easy on you. Yeah, not my neck, dear. I was going to take it easy on you, but now I'm not. Mm -hmm. you know Michelle Obama. In Jesus', in Jesus name, and no cheating. Mm -hmm. No cheating. She wants to turn on my thumb now. Oh. All right. They're just trying okay. to help. Mm -hmm. All right. You know, you you know what? I was going to take it easy. Uh, I'm Goliath, you David. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. I'm Goliath. Okay. Go. Go, Caitlin. Go, to thank all our characters who portrayed in this live video. They were former contestants or former winners of a pageant or they engaged in pageants. Everybody has a question about the Bible. We would like to invite you to join us on our live Christian broadcast. It is live every Friday at 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The name of our show is Bible Archives, and you can see us on our website, www.livestream.com forward slash Bible Archives. That's www.livestream.com forward slash Bible Archives. Also, it's a live text, so you can ask any question at that time. You can contact us anytime during the week at our email address, so write us at familybibletalk at hotmail.com. Familybibletalk at hotmail.com. And thank you for listening, and may God richly bless your life.